Howdy howdy, welcome to Hang the Critic with Josh Ball. I'm Josh Ball and this is Hang the Critic. Now this is the second of these poster reveals. I'm deliberately wearing a different outfit to inform you that I originally filmed this in one long video, but then later on I decided to chop it up into individual episodes. So now I have to reshoot introductions and outros to episode two and three. So I hope you enjoy episode two. Now cut to Josh. And the second in my adaptations trilogy was Robert Louis Stevenson's Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Now I chose to deliberately name my script adaptations after the original names of the books. And I chose the book specifically because I felt that they were stories that had been adapted many times but had never really gotten a faithful retelling of the book, for whatever reason. And one specific reason, really, with uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, it's a, a two-pronged reason. One, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde is a mystery story. Not many people know that. And the ultimate twist at the end of the book is, spoiler alert, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde are the same person. And it's tricky when the twist of the story is the one thing that everyone already knows about the story. Dr. Jekyll? Dr. J? My name is Mr. Hyde! And also the, the fact that the layout of the, the, the narrative is very odd and unique because basically it goes through the whole story from one person's perspective, the perspective of Gabriel Utterson, who is the actual main character. Again, not many people know that. But then at the end of the book, there are two chapters where it basically tells the entire story again from two different other perspectives. And I wrote the script that way. That's not very common form of narrative, which is part of what interests me about it. So that was a challenging one, just because of how it was laid out. But also because I was halfway through it and I was thinking, how am I going to make this relevant? Everyone knows that Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde are the same person. Like, the, the, what was the point of having a film where the twist is something that everyone already knows? But then as I read it, I realized that it was less about that and less about like the dichotomy of good and evil, which is the cliche that everyone associates with it, and more about the dichotomy of the upper class and the lower class in Victorian London. Dr. Jekyll is very representative of like the upper class, very sort of stiff and starched collar, and very conservative in the way they behaved. They didn't allow themselves to be too uncouth or messy. Whereas Mr. Hyde is more representative of the lower classes where he has basically no inhibitions. You know, he's nothing to restrain himself. So I thought visually it was very interesting uh, concept of the contrast between the prim and proper society of Dr. Jekyll and you know the sort of the Dickensian uh, slum of Mr. Hyde. I hope that doesn't come across as offensive. <laughs> Anyway, that was a fun one to do, sort of like a cool psychological thriller. I like a psychological thriller. What really has been the point of the last 50 years of my being a Victorian if Queen Victoria herself is suddenly gonna sidle over and ask me, can I smell cum? Hey, that's all we have for this episode. I hope you tune in next time. See that third and final poster. I hope you like. I hope you subscribe, I hope you share, I hope you leave a comment, I hope you ring that bell, I hope you do all those things, keep watching movies, and I'll see you when I see you.